Hey guys, it's Rish Fabulous here. Today we'll be playing Mushroom Age. <laughs> well, it's a little bit old game, but I saw one of my cousins playing it, and then I thought about recording it so I could show it to you guys. Well, anyways, let's start. Okay, so let's see. Hello? Is anybody in here? Wow, you look like Albert Einstein! I, I am Professor Einbach, the director of this laboratory, not Einstein. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I guess you must get a lot of comments that you look like Einstein. I do, but I assure you, I'm not Einstein, I'm Einbach. Right, I'm Tom Scott's fiancé. He's a researcher here and haven't been able to find him for a few days. Tom? Right, he's my assistant. Well, I haven't heard from him in three days. He's not answering his phone. I thought he might be here working hard to meet some crazy deadline. I like your eyebrows, bro. That's right, Tom is very busy. Hmm, he looks like- Oh, wait. <laughs> Look. That's right, it's my perfume, do you like it? Oh, how I love that smell. My head is spinning. <sighs> I feel sick. Professor, what happened? He must have passed out. So I have to find some way to bring him back to life. Only he's not dead. Okay, so back to consciousness. Smack him with this computer. That'll work. Clocks everywhere. Clocks everywhere. Clocks. Um. Oh. Ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. He's awake! Yay! Yippee! I'm sorry. No, no reminded me of my favorite photo of my wife. I've kept it on my desk for more than 20 years, but it recently went missing. I keep making mistakes. Bam, bam, kill me. Uh, Tom flew to a conference. I think he's either in Tokyo or Amsterdam. I can't remember. He should be back in about a week. Amsterdam? What are you talking about? We're getting married in two days. Married? Oh, hmm. I guess you'll have to postpone the wedding then. Are you kidding? I demand you take me to his desk right now. Oh, Sorry, man. but only Bad employees have you. access to the laboratory. It's strictly forbidden for you to enter. Besides, Tom's not in there. You're clearly hiding something, Professor. He, he well, don't worry. He'll be back. I, on the other hand, have been without my wife for 30 years, and she's not coming back. How do you know she just might come back, bro? Don't be so negative, you little shit. Is this his wife? I should give it to him. No, he is his wife. He is his wife. So there's the photo. 
Oh, she looks hot. Wait, this is 30 years old. Okay, now she will be an open hat. Task complete! Yay! The missing photo of my wife. Good heavens, someone hung it behind the clock. I hey, let me have it. Give it to me. I'll let you have the photo after you let me inside the lab. Fine, here's my access card. Hooray for blackmail. But I'm telling you, Tom isn't in there. Now give me... Oh, Gretchen. Shut my... up, shut up. Shut up. This is Tom's mobile phone. Hmm. Now let's see. Last number dialed. 3008 AD. 3008 AD? What a strange contact. It must be a club or something. Mm-hmm. Don't touch that telephone. But this is Tom's telephone. So you'd better just explain this 3008 contact. Do you know anything about it? Yes, but don't even think about dialing that number. And why not? Because that telephone is a time machine. You'll get transported You're to a different bro. time. Professor, you're clearly still suffering from your little fainting episode. I need to find my fiance. Give me that phone. I'm dialing. Uh, uh, to 3008 AD. Don't do it. I beg you. Okay guys, that's the end of this episode. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye.